Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends, welcome back to the Pisces portal. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces Collective, so this might resonate, this might not. Okay, Pisces, let's see what messages Spirit has for us, messages of guidance and upliftment for this new week we're in. So let's see here. Indecision. This is very interesting <laughs> because the love reading idea for the week started off with a message about guiding Pisces collective through making a certain decision and being true to themselves. So here we have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So this means your love life, your work life, okay? Your spiritual life, Pisces. So there's a need for you to really decide what you want, what needs to be done, how you should respond to something or someone, and trust that you've made the right decision. Trust that if you felt led or guided to do something, that it was the right thing. Okay? So let's see what else we get here. Ooh, a few things coming out. So we have surrender. I can release my need to control. And then we also have loneliness here. I know that I am never alone. Okay, Pisces. So some of you, even if you are surrounded by people or you have someone in your life, okay, you could feel a bit lonely at times. And this might also turn into you feeling a little anxious, okay, trying to do things to control certain situations to prevent yourself from feeling the feeling of loneliness but i feel like spirit wants you to you know know that this is not something that you need to fret about okay because you're never alone and, you know, it's okay for you to admit that you feel lonely, but honestly, let spirit, okay, be the presence that fills your life. Okay, I feel like there's a need for you to surrender and let go and allow spirit to bring the right kinds of people or the right person into your life, okay? This could be any type of connection or relationship, professional, personal, um, could be with family, friends, or a lover, okay? So let's see what other messages we have here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's see what this is. Guidance. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. Okay, Pisces. So this is why there's a need for you to surrender. Okay, because you might be following the guidance, if I can say that. <laughs> of the ego instead of that of spirit okay so when you decide to surrender and let spirit guide you okay and lead you to where you'd like to be then you know all is well okay but when you don't make like this card says divine intelligence your foundation then this is when you feel, you know, stuck or uncertain. This is when 
feelings of loneliness really hit hard. Okay. So know that spirit is with you and is guiding you. But there's also, you know, a need for you to decide this week to truly make divine intelligence your foundation, Pisces. So that as you move forward, you move forward with more peace, even when you don't understand why something is happening or why things appear to look off kilter okay in spite of appearances spirit is still in control and leading you to where you truly need to be but also where your heart desires to be okay and when it comes to you wanting answers Pisces again surrender to that guidance of spirit and not the ego. So we have here individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. This is especially why Pisces, it's necessary for you to let spirit lead the way. Okay, because you might think that your life, your plan Okay, your path is supposed to look identical to the collectives or, you know, everyone else's, but it's not. Okay, you're an individual. And although you are an individual that makes up the collective, there's still something unique about you. Okay, that spirit has designed you to be, to experience or to achieve. And so this is why there's a need for you to follow spirit's guidance because spirit is the one who created you, okay? So if you're getting caught up, you know, with what you see, um, you know, on the news or on social media, how other people are coming together, living their life, and it just makes you feel like you're lost or behind, you know, you have to let that go. And you have to choose to trust Spirit's guidance for your individual path. You know, the ego gets really caught up in um, trivial things and, you know, the affairs of the world and thinking that it needs to prove something or keep up with what it is that it sees everyone else doing. Okay, but your purpose is beyond, okay, um, your ego's perceptions about what other people are doing. Okay, so this is why there is a need for you to really stay in your own individual lane and keep letting spirit guide you. Okay, don't worry about other people and their path. Okay, let's get a few more messages here. We have compassion. Yeah, have compassion for yourself, Pisces, and this journey that you're on. Okay, you're on a journey that isn't like um everyone else's because you know it's it's not supposed to be you are you okay and there's a need for you to embrace that to be open to who you truly are and what spirit has for you there we go Bam. Okay. Divine timing. Pisces. Especially, you know, when it comes to loneliness and connections with other people or just seeing other people achieving certain things. Okay. You might have wondered, you know, how come it's not my time yet? 
And I know everybody hates, <laughs> really, okay? Everybody hates waiting, okay? Myself included. Okay, I have an Aries moon, so I'm extremely impatient. So, I understand. Um, But, it's like, divine intelligence is divine intelligence for a reason, Pisces. Okay? There's so much going on that you are unaware of. So much that spirit is trying to change and revise in the world to make room for your moment, for your divine timing. This is why you have to be compassionate with yourself in the mean and in between time. And you can't give up and you can't think that something isn't going to happen or that it's over. Okay, just because you're waiting. When you're waiting, spirit is working. Okay, that's what's happening. Spirit is working. So as you wait for um, certain things to come together for you, for certain people to cross your path, know that you know spirit knows the desires of your heart here okay this woman her heart space is completely open and full so spirit knows what's in your heart okay pisces but you also have to decide to trust and surrender okay and really kind of give up but also give in. Give in to spirit's guidance. Know that spirit is guiding you. I could really tell y'all a story right now, but I'm not going to hold you, okay? But um, I really feel this message here for us today, for this week. Okay, there's a lot of things that spirit is trying to keep off of your path, certain people, certain places. Okay, like you just think, <laughs> um, you know, nothing's happening or things are at a standstill. No, when things feel like they're at a standstill, Pisces. Things are actually being worked on behind the scenes. And what I love about this card is always how this looks like, you know, the inside of a, you know, a machine, okay? Or something you would see, you know, inside of a clock, okay? Or in a factory or something. It's like with this man kind of like having his arms kind of open for you to see what's going on it's almost like this is spirit saying see look this is what's going on now, can you give me a minute <laughs> okay this is what's happening can you just like are you happy now <laughs> okay Pisces so <laughs> just try to breathe let go let spirit really take control and continue to lead the way okay let me just get some angel answers here before we close this reading out and I feel like for those of you who watch the love reading the weekly love reading that um you know this this one is beneficial okay as a nice follow up to that one so let's see here yeah we have don't stop okay I really feel like in this case, Pisces, Spirit wants you to be persistent, okay, with your faith and your belief, your belief in yourself and belief in Spirit operating in your life for the good. Okay. 
helpful people. Wow. And then we, you know, we have loneliness here. So Pisces, the right people are going to come into your life or be placed on your path. This is why you can't stop. This is why you can't give up. This is why you have to keep going. You have to keep believing and have an open heart. Oh, let's see here. Ask for help from others. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, you know, a big thing here this week about other people. Okay? You might be afraid to ask for help or receive help from someone, Pisces. You might be reluctant to reach out to try to, you know, get a certain need met. But you have to ask for help. Okay, ask spirit for help and they will guide you to whoever these helpful people are for you. Okay, but you have to keep going. Don't allow yourself to get um, bogged down by, you know, sadness and loneliness. Okay. Cry if you need to, but then get back up with, you know, a renewed sense of self and again an open heart so pisces this has been your reading please like comment and subscribe if you like a personal reading please go to piscesportal.store thank you very much pisces and have a good week bye